All right, guys. <laughs> uh, luckily, I wasn't recording. It's just, uh, but okay. Uh, anyway, you guys are like, what the hell kind of introduction is this? All righty, guys. What is going on, all you beautiful people? It's E. It's the Big E. This is the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. Welcome back, everybody. This is Mr. Finn, Dwarf Hunter. This is BT. Rare from the Badlands. This is Night Elf Lady. Lady from uh, Emerald Sanctuary. Anyway, we're going to jump right back in today. We're going to go uh, work on killing some furl bogs. Fur bogs. I always put the L in the wrong place. I always say furl bogs. It's fur bogs. Anyway, this is Grazzle got a quest right here we got it from him he said to the west of him are some warriors some pathfinders and some gardeners they sound badass the gardeners they sound like they're probably getting up to some mischief doing some gardening anyway they are to the west of him uh, 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 uh. so we're going to check this area yes we are let's go see what we can find Hope everyone's doing all right today. Deadwood Village, I believe this is what we're going to want. Looks like he'd be a gardener. He is a gardener. Let's make him pay. Looks like he's been gardening. Unacceptable. That is unacceptable behavior. Got to keep in mind, don't have that many arrows, but this should be enough arrows to get us uh, to level 55. Can't skin these, but I wish we could. So it looks like our timber mall hold rep goes up by 10. That's not a whole lot. Uh, we've got somebody else in this area. Got over here. We got a gnome warrior. Right on, brother. Pretty low energy right now. It's usually not the best time for me to do an episode, but uh wanted to get one in. Oh man, that was a big hit. <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah, it was. I didn't like it. I think we can also turn these headdresses in, or these feathers, whatever these are right here. I think we can, yeah, they may be gathered for the Timber Mall uh, fur bogs to earn their trust. All right. A little extra way to get some rep, I guess. Like I said, I don't really care too much about the actual reputation, but... I guess it would be nice to be able to run back and forth through the cave without, or through the tunnel without being attacked, but I don't know the perks aside from that. I don't know what the benefits are of getting it, because I'm not really, I've not really done this area. Let's turn that off. Let's turn that interface off. Looks a lot better without it. Yeah, it's uh, it's just about ten o'clock. It's a Saturday night. Let's do a little bit of melee. Conserve some some of our arrows. We're higher level than these things. Uh, also, um. One of my subs well, I'm not sure if he's a subscriber. Mr. Vassant. 
he let me know that I was still using Claw rank 1, and I am indeed. That is rank 1. I've not seen that I can level this up, so I'm not sure how to get this up. Thing is, we don't really use Claw a lot. I generally will keep this off um, just because it burns so much of uh, BT's focus. But if we've got a higher rank I can get, I mean, surely I can i got to look in on how to do that. I've not seen it at the trainer. Uh, Mr. Vassant mentioned something about putting the pet in the stable and then getting a, uh, a different pet, the higher rank of claw. I don't. I didn't know it worked that way. I don't, I'm, I'm not really sure what to do, but uh, definitely going to look into it. I appreciate that, Vassant. Thank you for the tip. Always appreciate it. Scroll of Agility. We'll save that. Oh boy, I didn't even look at our bags. Okay, we got a little bit of room. A little bit of room to play with here. Yeah, I've not seen... You know, when we look at the, um, the pet trainer... I've not really seen this that I can rank it up. Is it... Wait a minute. Where's Beast Training? Yeah, I see Claw Rank 1. But I've not seen Claw Rank 2, and I've not seen it at the um, trainer, so I'm not sure about that. Oh, this guy's on me. Oh, he's ranged, so I was going to put him in a trap. Healing wave. Oh, boy. All right, I got to remember that. That was a gardener. Gardeners have mana. Apparently, they can heal. I don't want them doing that. I'll have to sit down and have a sip of some morning glory dew. Got a curse on us. Healing effects reduced by 50%. Not really an issue. going to the gym, but it is 10 o'clock. I went up there last night pretty late. I'm still on my wacky night schedule. I was the only person in the gym. <laughs> it's literally the only person in the gym. But uh, yeah, I was complaining about my old man's shoulders, and I uh, couldn't actually finish my workout, so I ended up leaving, but it's actually feeling a little bit better. I probably need to take another day. It's just really hard for me not. It's hard for me to lay out of the gym for a day. It really is. It's a mental. <laughs> it's a mental problem. It's, there's a lot of guilt and weird stuff going on there. I'm not exactly. Well, I have an idea where all that comes from, but not appropriate for the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. our last warrior. Two more pathfinders, three gardeners. These are all warriors. There's a pathfinder and there's a uh, gardener. Is that a Overlord Roar? I wonder what he's all about. What if I get extra? Let's see if we get some extra. Uh, 
reputation for killing this guy, or maybe he drops something we need, or uh, sometimes you can kill, you know, leaders like this and they're carrying some plans or whatever. A little side quest. Let's pull him over here. Oh, that was cool. He went to like... Oh, boy. He went to bear form there. That was interesting. And he put a fear on us. Pretty cool ability. Oh, we got 30. Yeah, we got 20 extra. Uh... Do I need the Pathfinders? I do. Do you do need the Pathfinder? Yeah, we got 20 extra rep for that. Oh, he's ranged. Gardeners. Pretty easy to pick out. <clears throat> they carry the shovels. I saw one over here. Oh, he's been slain. Did I do that? Or we might still have the, uh, the warrior in the area. There's a warrior. There's a pathfinder. There's a gardener. I'm going to turn Claw on so we can interrupt. If he tries to do a heal, we'll uh, do... Um... Son of a bitch, I missed it. <laughs> I going to say, we'll do uh, Intimidation, which interrupts, but uh, that's fine. Right, let's turn Claw back up. BT is content. We won't have such a thing. Hang on, BT. I'll give you a piece of quail, my friend. Some roasted quail. Some mage weave cloth is dropping from these guys. There's a gardener. Uh, quail. Oh boy, everything's uh everything's popping up. He's all by himself. Four. A few more training points, perhaps. I imagine he's working on the same thing we are, or maybe he's just rep grinding. Unielium? I don't know how you would say his name. Where 
Where is our last gardener? He's right there. Let's get him out of the way. We'll burn him down quick. Do some rapid killing. Interrupt him. And bestial wrath. Just ruin his day altogether. Alrighty. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go check back in with what's his name, Garts, Garts, Gratz. I'm not sure what his name is. I think he was up here. There he is. Oh, it's Grazzle. Hey, brother. Get to the quest. Here we go. Timber Mall Alley. We suffer much from the events of the past. Thank you for what you have done to help protect the Timber Mall. As a sign of our growing friendship, please accept uh, accept this humble offering. Five, uh, 50 50 XP. We don't want that. Hello there. I, I think we want this. This is 24 attack power, which is uh, 12 agility. And we gain, we gain some stamina slightly higher. I think we're going to take this. If we trade in the intellect, we lose a little bit of our mana pool. Um, oh, okay. Feathers. That's right. Let's see how many feathers. Can I turn any of my feathers in? For every five. Oh, we do have five. All right. Turn that in. How many, um, we got more? Let's turn some more in. Alrighty. Very nice. What are we doing on reputation here? Um, let's see. Oh boy. Well, we're just on friendly. Okay. Still a bit of a grind there. Uh, what else does he have? This. Speak to Na Nafian. Perhaps you, you're capable of handling a larger threat that we timber them all face. You certainly have shown yourself capable here. Another of my kind stands guard outside the entrance to timber them all ho hold along the road far to the north. His name is Nafian. Okay, I think we've done this. Oh, well, I guess we've not done this. All right, we will go speak to him. We're doing on time. Not even 20 minutes in. Uh, let me get rid of this. Hang on, guys. Um, let's get rid of that part. Okay, well, let's see. What are we going to do? We could do this. We just have to go back into Jadenar and fill up the um, the little flask that was given to us. We also have this. A second encampment of satyrs threatens the land of Felwards uh, towards the north, led by the cruel Zavarek. Mm -hmm. Head to the north and defeat Zavarek. Head to the north. I wonder if that's up here. Well, let's say what? Let's go to Jadenar first. And what we need might be there. Actually, let me sell a few things here. Do we have a somebody I can sell to? I think I was checking here before. There is not. Okay. All right. There's not a uh, vendor here for some strange reason. That is a little bit odd that there would not be a vendor there. Maybe there was and I didn't see it. Got an undead and a troll there.
Let's see what this is. Not discovered whatever this is. Hello? Um, maybe up this way? I'm not sure what, what's in here. It might be to the south of us. Oh, I don't have any of the things yet, do I? I don't. Oh, some of them require four? That's interesting. The other ones I've seen only require two. All right, well, I don't know what I'm supposed to discover here. I think I missed it. It's probably back down there to the south. Fell Paul Wolf, you don't want any of this, sir. You don't want any. It's like, but I do want some of it. Fasta. It's faster than me. <laughs> this is Jadenar. It is Jadenar. Yeah, we just have to fill this vial. Oh, we've got some skinnies here. I'll take some skinnies. And there's another patch of tainted skin. Probably all the way back here. I'm pretty sure we saw it. Um, I think it's this way. Like when I, like when we can't run over a route on our mount. It's interesting. We should be able to skirt around a lot of this stuff, except for this one. clip on her. I'm not sure if these will run off. They probably will. I don't know what that ability is that she's doing to me. Eh, they don't run off. I like that. We are 70%, 30% more to go. Missed that. Just going to keep claw on for now. We're higher level, so having claw on doesn't bother me because um, taunt isn't that big of a deal because we're much higher level than these things. That's the pool we need up there. Maybe I hope I'm in the right. Uh, I hope I'm in the right spot. Let's just work our way in here, I suppose. Burn this stuff down.
This should be what we need right here. You're actually pretty low on health here, not really paying attention. Yeah, let's give him another piece of quail, and we're going to have a piece of grilled squid. Doesn't report, uh, doesn't restore that much health. None at all, really. But uh, we do get a nice little agility buff. Got another recipe we're going to be upgrading to. Um, which, where's the, what's the agility one? This is the one I want. Yeah, 24 attack power. It's 12 ag agility. Restores a nice amount of health there as well. We picked that up right up here. Talon Branch Glade, if anybody's a cooker looking for extra recipes, there's three recipes up here behind the uh, the flight trainer there. Yes, sir. Right. Let's see if we can find... What do we need here? Where's our... Got a vial of something. Is that it? That is it. Got to do some bag cleanup here. Did we... Did we get it? We did... Wait. Yes. Okay. Didn't say completed. This goes to... Turn to me afterwards. Um, uh, where was she at, though? Greta Mosshoff in Fellwood. Okay, that's pretty vague. I think she's back down there in the uh, Emerald Sanctuary. Also, we need... I think we've got to go further up. I have a feeling it's here. To the north for these other ones, but I am not 100% sure for these hell callers and all of that stuff. I hope they're not. I hope they're not in there. I hope they're not down in the barrow, the barrow, whatever it is. Let's run up there. Let's run further north and we'll see. Yeah, the energy level is definitely, uh, definitely low key this episode. I usually don't do episodes like I, like I was saying unless I've got some decent energy. Sometimes it's a little too much. Probably come across as a lunatic. <laughs> but uh, I've not actually been out of bed very long. I'm. It's slowly happening, but it, it takes me a long time to work myself from nights to days. If I have to go to, um, if I'm on days and I've got to go to nights, I can do it the same. You know, I can do it within a 24 hour period. It's, uh, easily I can do it, but it's really difficult for me to do it the other way around. I don't know why that is. So I've got to get some uh, dinner. Well, it'd be breakfast for me. Probably going to make up a bunch of scrambled eggs. Maybe an omelet. Yeah, let's check up here. I know you can also get fell cloth up here. 
I think this is the set of baddies that we need. Yes, this is what we need. All right, let's work on this a little bit. A little bit into the episode, but it's fine. I'm going to turn that off. Because we are a little bit higher level. I want him to be able to maintain his taunts. Keep this focus up. Trickster, we need tricksters, we do new tricksters. Let's put a viper sting on him. And we'll run in for some uh, melee action. Casting speed reduced by 50%. Oh, that's annoying. This guy's got all kinds of goodies in their bag of tricks here. Let's get him to come over here. He's not able to pull a taunt off of him, which is a little bit surprising. He's a level above him. We're up to 50 training points, still not enough to... <laughs> I mean, I could do some of this lower level stuff, but what I'm really interested in is uh, this natural armor or the great stamina. We just cannot seem to get enough training points to do it. here. We'll do stone form. Fifty fire damage to melee attackers. Oh, I think I misread that last last time. I thought he was putting that on BT. So I thought it was something that was working f both for us and against us, but don't think that's how it was working. I think he was had it on himself. Right, we're going to stay ranged here. Do a little interrupt on him. In case he tries to cast anything at the last second. Quite a few of these guys in the area. Got a curse on him, BT does. Physical damage dealt reduced by 27. Got no way to remove that. Well, looks like we're charmed. Movement speed increased by 80%. It's interesting. What do we got back here? Oh, we got a few more back here. Fireball, huh? Oh boy, we just absolutely wrecked him. Yeah, we got some hiding back here. 
Oh, I think we need him. We do need him. Okay. I'd like to pull him back here. gonna am I not gonna be able to loot this thing because he's up here man I really hate I really hate that I'm not gonna worry about it too much but I'll, I'll give it a little bit of effort to try and loot it okay fuck you deep in the episode. Let's uh, at least want to get him. I don't know if we'll be able to finish all of this. I don't want the episodes running too long. But we might have to fight. This might be a little bit tough here. Um, let's get our food ba buff back up. We'll do the tender wolf steak. Get us uh, 12 extra stamina. Have to do a little CC action here. He's level 55 and he's a caster. That is a caster. So what we're going to do... We're going to burn this caster down. I'm going to freeze this one. Um, actually... We're going to freeze this one. Got no health. Wait, I, I picked up a health pot. I saw that I did. Yes, the big ones too. All right, that's a, that makes a big difference. Okay, let me get in range here. I'm going to pop rapid killing. I'm going to do bestial wrath right off the bat. I was going to say, are we not going to pull these guys? He should go down. Put BT on him. And we're going to freeze this guy. Uh, this guy. This guy. Come on over here. Is this guy not going to come to me? Okay, here he comes. Alright, we're okay here. All right, that was a little bit easier than I thought it was going to be. Um... No. We've learned our lessons uh, with demonic runes. I also thought they were... Um... Oh, what did we get there? I also thought they were BOEs, but they're not. We got a flute. This item begins a quest. It's the flute of Zavarik. You study the simple wooden flute you picked up after defeating Zavarik. The knotted wood feels solid, but it seems as if the spirals and patterns in the surface begin to spin and move as you turn it over in your hands. Suddenly, you feel a sense of dread. You shake your head, sure that your mind is playing tricks on you. It's possible that the other uh, satyrs carry clues as to what you have found. Bring your findings to the druid, a redian blue wind that lives in southern Fellwood. All right. We'll do that. We'll get a nice chunk of XP for it as well. We don't need that many more. They are tight, uh, packed pretty tightly in here. Yeah, I don't think our bullets are going to last here.
There's a general goods vendor in uh, up here. Talon, Talon Branch. So we can, we can get some more arrows there if we need to. So I'm going to try to make this a little bit quicker. And we're going to see if we can get this quest done. This be a longer episode. Oh. Oh, right. We just picked that up. I was like, where did that come from? Yeah, we just... Uh, oh, there's a cockroach right there. A tainted one. <laughs> Be a nice chunk of XP between these two quests. And the turn-ins, for sure. Give BT a little bit of meat here. We also have a... I've got a bunch of fish that I made up. So he's good to go for, for meat, for food. We need three more of these tricksters. Just missed that. I just used uh, Intimidation, which stunned him, but he got his curse off. I wonder if this is just for melee. There's a little bit of fell cloth. Um, let's get uh, let's get some mana. trickster tricky trickster there he is right there take advantage of our rapid killing oh boy that was pretty big yeah come on over here all right betrayers still need need two more betrayers Yeah, we'll get this done. I think we can get this done. He was coming for me. BT made him change his mind. He's like, that man over there gives me meat. quite hungry. I'm feeling it all of a sudden. I always have uh, always have a bunch of water and uh, usually like a banana when I first wake up. Because often I'm not very hungry. Um, it, it is hard for me to eat when I first wake up. Okay, we just need the Hell Callers, and there's a Hell Caller right there. He is ranged. This could be potentially bad if we pull either one of these camps. Oh, we got some big hits on him. We may be okay here. 
Yeah, wow, we just like decimated him. There's another health caller. All right, um, let's see if I can. I'll let my mana get back up a little bit here. Actually, you know what, let's drink. We'll work our way through these two camps here. Might get lucky and not pull these other two. Nope, we're not lucky. So we're going to do rapid fire. I'm going to kick in uh, Bestial Wrath. Put a heal on BT. Target the other caster. Oh, that actually worked out all right. Okay, didn't, didn't even need to freeze him, really. We just, I forgot we could clear uh, bleed effects with stone form. I'm just used to using it with poison or disease, but we had a rend on us of some type or some type of bleed. Clear it right on up. It's not like it was doing that much damage, but. That's a pretty useful racial ability, I gotta say. If you can remember to use it. There's another bind. Forgot we were, forgot we needed those. <laughs> um, okay, we need both of these hell callers, and we could put a little active hot on our boy. Let's roll on in. We're not gonna pull him. There he goes. Um, can you interrupt that, please, BT? Thank you, sir. Alrighty. What are you over there, trickster? We just need two more of the bastards. There's a rare satyr in this area. Do bestial wrath again. A little heel on our man. Yeah, I appreciate you coming over here. <laughs> I guess I got something special for you. I like your Saturday Night Fever pose there. Got another bleed on us. Stone form is on CD. Don't really need it. Guy's kind of chunky. All right, we just need one more. And we just need one more bind as well. I did not loot this guy somehow. Where's our last hell caller? right there. They are the tall ones, it looks like. All right. Um, I 
All right, we just got him. I like that. Let's do a little melee action. We have less than 200 bullets. Yeah, I, this should be... I think I worked this out just about right. If I uh, play it smart, we can... The rest of these bullets will take us to level 55, and then we'll move right to our Wicked Arrows... And there's our last bind. We've got to get him out of the way, maybe. Yeah, let's get him out of the way. Get this done. A little bit low on mana. Just going to do it. We're going in. Wow, we actually, we just crushed him. Crushed him. Going to need you to step into that. Charmed. Oh, that's interesting. As soon as he charmed us, uh, we're we kind of go friendly with these guys. We'll pop stone form because we're a little bit low here. I might have to pop a health pot. We're charmed again. Boy, that's fucking annoying as hell. BT's almost dead. All right, BT's going to go down, so I'm actually going to feign death here. We're done with the quest. Oh, he's not going to go down. BT's not going to go down. Um, I thought BT was dead. Let's get this. Let's get this fucker down here. Yeah, I misread that completely. I thought BT was just going to die. All right, well, we managed uh, to get out of that. Boy, that um, that charm is super damn annoying. All right, we're done with all of the quests, so let's, um, let's get the hell out of here. We'll run up to Talon Branch first, and if the quest turn-ins aren't there, we'll just fly back, but we are pretty deep into the episode here. which means it's going to take two full days for this video to process once I've uploaded it to YouTube. I don't know why that's a thing, but it is. It's kind of annoying. It's one of the reasons why it's, for me, to keep the videos 25 to 30 minutes long. I don't know what it is. I've mentioned this before. But since I upload in 2K resolution, once I've uploaded it, it's all it's in YouTube's hands, their process. So what it does, it processes a standard version, um, you know, which is 720. Then it does an HD, which is 1080, and then it does my 2K, uh, which is 1440 resolution. But uh, it could sit up there for two days in a state where it just says processing, still processing the the HD versions. So, yeah, it's it's just part of it, I guess. I don't know how to get around it. I don't know if there's any tricks to um, making that not a thing. Uh, we need to be up here. So if, a, if one of my videos ever releases and you guys are watching it and you can't get 2K or you try to adjust the resolution and it says unavailable, it's because it's still processing on YouTube's end. I 
wonder if it's possible we might hit level 55 between these two quests. Well, we actually have three quests to turn in because of, um, yeah, none of them are here. Okay. Well, let's do a quick little repair here. I am honored. Good. You should be honored. Sell that. Um, I wonder if I should try to auction house this. I don't know if any of this other stuff will sell. Oh, I didn't even equip this thing. Hold on. I want this on. I want this belt. I did not equip it. So we got 195 agility. Oh. Hold on. What I read online, it told me that attack power is uh, half of agility. Obviously not the case. Let me look at this. 86.1. 84.9. That's interesting. We do more DPS with it on. Oh, I guess it's the difference between ranged and melee, maybe? I don't know. I'm going to leave it on because our ranged attack power went up. I'm going to leave it on. I'm just going to sell it. Um, okay, that's interesting. I got a lot of crap. God, I got a lot of crap in my bag. Also, this is the uh, the guy who has the recipes, guys. If you're interested in cooking, this guy up here, Malijan. I could buy some more jagged arrows. Do I want to buy some? I'm not going to do it. I'm going to make do with the 166. How may I help? Do a little repair. Good luck, friend. All right. Well, since we're already hella deep into the episode, this is uh, it's going to be an hour long. Let's go turn in these quests. Elune Adore. Yeah, we'll run back Farewell. down to the Emerald Sanctuary real quick. See if we can hit level 55. That would be nice. Those bracers are useless to us yeah this might this might happen <clears throat> this might happen Starting to get my long sleeve shirts out, man. Today is the 28th. Yeah. September is just a couple days away. It starts getting cold here in the desert where I am. It starts getting cold at night. Still still pretty, you know, warm during the day, but that's how the desert is. Especially the actual desert, you know. But southern, you know, southwest areas kind of a desert region i love it man i love fall fall is my favorite it's not bitterly cold yet and it's not you know it's not too hot it's just it's kind of perf perfect for me anyway all of the pollens and things like that start you know fucking off <laughs> I'm someone who suffers from allergies. It's, uh, yeah, fall and winter just much better for me. All right, let's check in with Greta. Ah, I've been expecting you. Good. If you've already read this, here we go. This is what we want. Once we have the waters from the moon well, we will purify it and use it to extinguish the braziers of protection within Shadow Hole. That should allow me to, that should allow me ample time 
to see if the chambers uh, actually, yeah, that's good reading on the words there. I pray the Earth Mother is with us. What do we get for this? That's what I want to know. This will do nicely, Finn. Thank you. Now all we have to do, besides apply the waters to the braziers, is to have it purified. That should not be difficult. It should only require a little travel. On my part, 5,500 XP. Take the corrupt water to the Barrens, Finn, south of Ratchet, hidden along the shores. An old friend of mine, a shaman named Island Waterseer. She's a powerful shaman who will help us. Her relationship with the spirits of water has always been strong. Our task, being a noble one, should be enough to persuade her and the spirits of water to aid us in this task. Okay. She had a small camp along the water's edge. I do know where this is. Winds be at your back. That is a lot of running, though. Let's go do this one. Let's turn this in. This is Iridian. Peace Blue wind. Oh, we have both of these here. Nice. Thank you for all you have done, Finn. May Elune protect you and guide you on the path ahead. 7,900 XP. May the stars guide you. Also have a flute. What is it, Hunter? You look concerned. Well, I have this. I sense the suffering of ancient ones, Finn. That's too bad. Holding these items is almost unbearable. It's about 8,000 XP. Not going to be enough, but we're close. The flute you found was carved from an ancient protector, uh, protector, the treant allies that have faithfully protected the night elves. The satyrs have been able to corrupt anything they come in contact with, which includes the ancients that made Felwood their home. By the use of the fell, the spirit of the ancient has been bound and tortured, never completely released. The fell bind you found is no doubt related. You must try to purify the flute, Finn. Bring me blessed water from the Temple of the Moon and Darnassus. Already? Go in peace. Okay. Well, we didn't quite get there, but oh boy, we are damn close, guys. <laughs> we are damn close. Okay, well, we're going to have to call it here, guys. We are pretty far in. We've got some other stuff completed as well. We'll look at these things next episode. But for now, we'll chill out here. We'll do that. Let's get me off of the screen. All righty, guys. I appreciate you. I surely, surely do. You guys take care. Mr. Fenn and myself will catch you guys in the next one. See ya. Peace.